Your outpost in Starfield could be massive. Yes, these are the bases you can build on planets. We've noticed an interesting detail that could lead us to believe that your colony, I guess, or just outpost in general, could be a lot bigger than has been shown up before. Here's all the info. Okay, so this post comes from Reddit. I'm going to dive in and explain what outposts are and basically what's going on here. Stick around. It's going to be pretty cool. Starfield's coming out later this year. It's going to be super exciting. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest Starfield news, hit that subscribe button. I am so, so excited for this game. It is going to be awesome. So recently we have a Starfield Direct and it was Todd Howard showing off a bunch of the Starfield features we sort of already know were going on, but it gives a glimpse of gameplay and things we hadn't seen much of before, such as Starfield ship customization, which I've done a full video on, as well as outpost customization. These are the bases you can build on planets, and it's kind of really cool. The main part today is how massive these outposts can be in game. There is a lot of speculation surrounding the Starfield release on how big the building limits are, both for outposts and also for starships as well. We've spoken about whether there is a sort of limit on how big you can make your ship. It looks like there's a case, but don't panic if you are worried about that. I fully expect, much like the Fallout series of games, there will be a mod sometime after release that will take out these limits, and then it's just down to how much your PC or Xbox or PlayStation, no it's not PlayStation, Xbox can actually run the game, so uh, keep that in mind. Obviously, Starfield has been like 25 years in the making. That's what Bethesda are showing or selling things as. And, you know, in that 40 minute breakdown of Starfield, it covered every major thing, particularly the outpost, which has sort of got people's hopes up for how big these buildings can be. Now, on screen right now, I'm showing you a demo of when we see the outpost being built. In the bottom left corner of the screen, zooming in now, it is you that despite the many sections of the base that have already been built, only 10% of the build limit is being used. You can sort of see there, it, it doesn't show in percentage, but you can sort of make it out how big this actually is. And the Reddit user PackDog1141 actually pointed this out. Now, overall, it is a major improvement over some of Bethesda's games, which do feature base building, like Fallout 4, for example. It possibly is suggesting how huge these areas might be in the final game. Now, the response from the community may have burst the bubble a little bit, and then we're going to go over why that could be the case. Because while at the minute it looks pretty massive, there could be some other issues at hand here. For example, we do have interior decoration. Now, this will add to the build limit, so if you're looking to put tables, chairs, lighting blocks, plant pots, cookers, I don't know, whatever you want to put in your interior, this is going to take up the building limit for your outposts. Overall, though... Pretty cool that we still got this size here. It is something to be concerned about, because I believe Fallout 76 does this as well. It's been years since I've played that, and no one can blame me. It's basically lighting and things like that can eat up your building budget, I guess we can call it, very, very quickly. And this will take up the size limit and keep that in mind. As many have been joking, the only limit is your imagination, is what Todd Howard's been saying. Meh, I think it's going to be the frame rate and the building limit. D don't worry, I do strongly think a mod will allow us to bypass these build limits at a later date. Still though, if that's only 10% in this image here, or sort of what's on the screen, and we see some of the structures have been popped down, so you've got an outpost airlock, four hub wall, a hydroponic hab A, small hab flat, small, a military habitat, which would probably be weapons and things, that doesn't include the internal stuff shit just yet, so that's something to keep in mind. Still though, with just that, the base is going to be pretty big, so you could possibly have these very large outposts. I for one hope there's some sort of landing pad we can have that would make out the game for me and make it a lot better. But going back to outposts and giving you a general overview on this, as I'm sure many of you are still very keen to learn about this, it's basically something you can do on every resource-heavy planet you come across. It's going to be an important part of refueling your spacefaring intergalactic missions, so your outpost can like be a forward command base, essentially, or something like that. You can go here, refuel, unload stuff, leave NPCs there. That's a cool thing as well, is you can leave people to populate your outpost, which I particularly like, because that way it doesn't feel very desolate and alone. When I think of base building in Starfield, I kind of get a Subnautica vibe to it. Maybe not so much on the survival factor, where you have to hand-build and weld things, but you get, you get what I'm saying. But one of my issues with the game of Subnautica, when you build these giant bases, is there's nobody else to live in it. Sure, you got to fish out the window. That's not the point, though. You get what I mean. Now, the outposts we do see in the Starfield gameplay direct were mostly done by building or gathering materials, and then you can use the outpost to modify weapons and, you know, refine things and make cargo production. They serve a lot of purposes, to be fair. Now, building an outpost starts by placing an outpost beacon. This sort of this is the main console you interact with. This may change when we get towards the release of the game, but for right now, this is where you name your outpost, build structures, and manage your crew. As I said earlier, you can have people stationed here. 
In terms of build limit, as you mentioned, it does look like the build limit is hard set, but it will be overrided by a mod later on. That is something that probably will be extended once we get to, you know, um, we, once we get post release of Starfield. I hope the build limit is, you know, up from Fallout anyway, and I think that's going to be the case based on what we discussed at the start of this video today. Now, as I mentioned, there are a dozen outpost structures we can play with. That's something to keep in mind. I'm sure there's going to be more added later down the line, so we can fully customize our outposts and make some really, really cool stuff. One of my concerns was sort of like an operating cost thing. It does appear there's going to be some sort of power meter or something that's going to sort of like, you know, keep us, um, you know, keep it so we can't scale too much, too much equipment. If you see at the bottom, we have cargo zero, crew zero, need to power zero, total power zero. So except when you have production machinery or like cargo storage or maybe ship refueling, you're going to need a power source to keep your outpost ticking. Now, I fully expect this to be solar power or perhaps, you know, wind power, something like that. We already do see a windmill and in one of the sort of screenshots and also game demos it's sort of in the background but i expect it will be solar i'm not sure about reactors that could be pretty cool and hope so because i imagine there's minerals you can mine on planets which would power reactors and things like that we'll have to wait and see Overall, I'm very, very excited for Starfield's outposts. They look pretty cool, and I think the building limit obviously is a cause for concern, but also we're going to be able to override it at a later date. That's something there. Like, interior decoration is going to add to the build limit overall, but it's going to be cool. We're going to have to ponder until Starfield comes out on how this build limit works, both for starships and also for in-game outposts. Still, though, let me know what you think down below in the video comment section. Are you excited for this? Are you going to push the limits of outpost building in Starfield? I know I am. I want to build a really cool sci-fi base on a planet somewhere, and I really hope weather's going to affect your outpost buildings. I kind of want, like, a Kamino-style planet. Maybe not so much water, but a stormy planet would be pretty cool. Maybe, like, a harsh landing environment so we can find you there. Or maybe we can build, like, secret outposts somewhere. That could be really, really cool let me know what type of base you're going to build down below in the comment section for now i've been captain jack thank you very much for watching and i will see you in starfield very very soon in the meantime hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest starfield news see you soon